Three players are hoping they've got the skills to claim £10,000 from the clutches of this unpredictable machine. Will today's tale end in triumph or tragedy? It's time to find out on Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Paul, a retired account manager from Wigan. I'm Louise, a communications coordinator from Worcester. And I'm Rasan, a support worker from London. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But, also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with a jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game, so do keep your eyes on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yep. Hands on your buzzers. Here comes your first question. What four-letter abbreviation is the title of a 1978 UK number one single by The Village People? Paul. YMCA. It is YMCA, Paul. Yes, you're absolutely right. You get the first correct answer, so would you like to play or pass the first counter? I think I'll pass. OK, who are you going to pass to? To Louise. Right Ooh. then, Louise, you get to launch okay. the machine. Where should we put the first counter? Drops in one. Um, Drops in one it is. OK. Louise. Timing could have been better there. I oh. hope we can get away with it. It is flat. Thank goodness. Right, now, what can we get over the top shelf to get things Come moving? On. Yes, just Whoa. peels those two over. Anything here for you, Louise? Anything? Should be something there. Yeah. No! Oh. Oh. Sadly not. Well played. Yeah, mate. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> start, Notch though. them forward. OK, nothing from your first counter, Louise. Here's your next question. The 2020 animated Netflix TV series subtitled Camp Cretaceous is part of which dinosaur-based film franchise? Rasan. Jurassic Park. It is Jurassic <laughs> you're Park. Right yes, there. you're excited about that, aren't you? Yeah, I love the film. <laughs> Great franchise. Well done. You're absolutely right. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass to Louise or Paul? I would like to play, please, Ben. OK, where should we go? Drop Zone 1, because it's got a nice setup over there. Lovely stuff. You're Drop welcome. Zone 1, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take your time here, Rasan. When you get that first counter in, let's make sure it's down and flat. Ooh. Just staying on its edge now. Is that silver counter going to cause you a problem? It might do. Oh, no, it's flat. flat. Okay. It's flat. Okay, so can we squeeze a couple over the top and then maybe take out some of the ones that Louise has left for you? Ooh. Yes, yeah, there's yeah. the top working. There. Is the bottom going to go? Not sure. Oh, no, oh, it's not. Dear, yeah. Just nudging them forward, Rasan. But nothing's in the wind zone. Mm. Right, here's your next question. Forest Fower is a UNESCO global geopark located in the Welsh National Park, the Brecon what? Louise. Beacon. Yeah, absolutely, it's the Brecon Beacons, well done. Now, are you going to play? Jobs in one, please. Fire it up, please. Ooh. Better time in this time. Uh... Yeah, lovely, much better. Now, let's get down. Flat. Oh, I didn't go flat, though. Just was a little bit slow on the descent. Hit too many rivets. Oh. It's riding. Yeah. Right, now, Very if it squeezes awesome. up to the edge, you might get something here, because it's so tightly packed. Might, might Way. get you. Yeah, well there's Jeez. something got to go. Very good. Double shove, two. Yay! Oh. Very nice from a rider, that, Louise. Five counters, Louise. Very tidy. £250. Let's take that and put it into your bank. It gets you off the mark, and you've got one counter still to play. Here's your next question. UK politician Johnny Mercer, who served as a junior defence minister until April 2021, is a member of which party? Rasan. Um, Labour? No, he's Conservative, Rasan. I'm afraid we have to steal a counter from you. That's going into the tunnel spot. You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. You've got one left to play. Here's your next question. A surprise for Mrs Fox is a chapter from which Roald Dahl children's book? Louise. Is it fantastic, Mr Fox? It is, indeed, Louise, okay. yes. Well done. Right, you've got you. one counter left. Are you going to play it or are you going to pass? I'm going to try again for drop zone one, please, Ben. Let's do it again. Fire up one, please. Certainly looked primed on the tipping point. I don't want to ride it this time. Which 
drop. To the right. No, nice. Nice, good, quick, rapid yeah. drop. Now, is that double going to get enough? Slip. Yes. Can we get you something here, Louise? No! Oh, no. Never mind. You can set them up. Yeah. But they're not going to drop, I'm afraid. So that's all three of your counters used for the time being. You've got £250, but you are out. So, Paul, you've still got all three of your counters. Russ, and you've got one left to play. Next question for the boys. The first person to sequence DNA in space, Kathleen Rubens, is a microbiologist and astronaut at which US space agency? Russ Ann. NASA. It is NASA, yes. <laughs> well done. Right, we're going to play? I'm going to take a risk, go for drop zone one. Stay with yeah. one. Fire it up, please. <laughs> Louise is nodding. She thinks that's the yeah, right call. definitely. Timing it right. Are you? Not sure you are. <laughs> oh, that little bounce has helped you, because I think that could be flat now. Oh, yeah, that could move the double down. <laughs> Might got away with this, Rasan. Go on. Yes, the double's over. Oh. It separates nicely. Nice. Nice. Good. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, oh wow. <laughs> Eight counters, well Rasan. That's nice. very nice, isn't it? Four hundred pounds. Just what you needed with your last counter. Let's put it in your bank. That's all three of your counters used, so for the time being, you are out. Right, Paul, it's just you left in. You don't need to use your buzzer. <laughs> you do need to give me the correct answer to every one of these questions to put the counts into the machine. OK, Paul, here's your first one. Similar to tagliatelle, pizza cherry is a variety of which staple Italian foodstuff? Pasta. Yeah. No problem with the first one. Where should we go? I think I'll stick with one. Drop zone one, please. have been waiting very patiently to play now, Paul. As a strategy, will this pay off? Oh, bouncy drop. Oh. <laughs> Would it be I think flat? Be good. Yeah. Yes, it is. That could be nicely positioned if you can bring those silver counters down. Mm. Paul, what do you reckon? I reckon that it, it, it needs to just go to the Ooh. left. I was just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gone to the left and to the right. Oh, it's oh. a good start. Well Very done. Good. Five counters there for you, Paul. That's £250. And we take it from the machine and put it into your bank. That will draw you level with Louise. OK, you've got to give me the correct answer to put this counter into the machine. Here's your next one. American player Jordan Spieth competes professionally in which club and ball sport? Golf. Yeah, no problem with that one either. What do you fancy doing with this one? I'm going to stick with one because I think yeah. on the left and, and possibly even on the right, there's a good chance of going, yeah. so one, there's please. There's a double there, isn't there, And yeah. There's that mystery prize. Far up one. Very good. Maybe, maybe. Is the top shelf going to go? Is it? Just oh. yes. Now, is that going to spread? There's some there going Can the go mystery sometime. get close? Nice. Oh. nice drop. Six counters for you, Paul. £300 this time. That's enough to put you in the lead. Let's take that and put it into your bank. That's going to put you on £550. You've got your hands on a mystery prize as well, which is an Ultra 8000 S2 juicing machine, courtesy of Juicy Retreats. Excellent. Very That's great. Nice. The one I've got has just broken. So. <laughs> Superb. Perfect Thank you. timing. Yeah. Right, Paul, one more counter for you. Again, you've got to give me the correct answer to put it into the machine. Here's your last one. The Renegade and the Super Lonely were both viral dance challenges that originated on which well-known video-sharing social media platform? TikTok. It is TikTok. Well done, Paul. Dug that out from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you're a secret TikTok user. That's... <laughs> that must be it. What do you think with this last one, then? I don't know if there's a lot going to go on one just at the moment. Time for a change, then? But I, I think two looks a, a reasonable bet. Let's have drop zone two. Let's see what we can get from drop zone two. First time we've used it. Busy drop. Good settle, though. Hmm. Is it going to split? Go on, something. Oh, no, you've got a couple here. And then can you just target those ones on the Maybe. edge? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, you can. Nice. Four counters for you there then, Paul. £200, finish up. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, and that's going to leave you on £750. So, as things stand, Paul is leading with £750. Rasan has £400, Louise £250, but it's not over. We have one counter up for grabs in the penalty spot, so I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Right then, Louise, great chance for you to try and get a bit more money if you can give me the correct answer to this, OK? Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty spot question. When referring to the round, flat-crowned cap, the word beret ends with which silent letter? Louise. A T. 
tea. It is a tea. Yes. Of course it's a tea. Well done. OK. Right, can we get something out of the machine? What are you thinking, Louise? It all looks pretty similar other than Drop Zone 2, so I'm going to take a risk and go there, Ben, please. Drop Zone 2 it is, please. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's flat. Okay. A little nudge to move that slider down. It's got... Oh, drop. There you Very go, yes. Please. Broader shot. I shove. might feel the gap, though. Ooh, oh, two oh, counters sneak in. I didn't expect them to come from there. Two counters, they're not too bad. £100 we can take for those two. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Paul is leading with £750. Rasan has £400. Louise, £350. So join us after the break. See which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Paul, Louise and Rasan are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Paul, you are leading after round one, so it's up to you. You can choose to play first if you think the machine's ready. Alternatively, you could offer the chance to Louise or Rasan. I think I'll play first, please. Okay. 45 seconds for you. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? 45 seconds for Paul, please. Your time starts now. How many teams compete in the final match of the Rugby World Cup? Two. Correct. Which tall wading bird, famous for its bright pink feathers, is considered the national symbol of the Bahamas? Pelican. Flamingo. Flamingo. Which strategy game is played on a board depicting a map of the world divided into 42 territories? Risk. Correct. Lovers Rock and Education are two of five films that make up which 2020 Steve McQueen anthology series? Pass, I don't... Small Axe. Toucan crossings are specifically designed to allow pedestrians and riders of which two-wheeled vehicle to cross the road? Pelican. Bicycles. Jersey and Guernsey are part of which island group? Channel. I can accept, yep, yeah, Channel Islands. Which plant with a red or green edible stalk has varieties called Timperley Early and Hardy Tarty? Gosh, I don't... Rhubarb! Oh, I'd never have got that. You did get three correct answers, though, Paul. So we have got three counters to put into the machine. So where do you want to start? Drop zone two, please. I think that still yeah. looks reasonable. Good OK, choice. let's have yeah. two. Oh, that was quick. Uh, Rapid yeah. drop. Gee. Well, hopefully we'll bring that mystery down. Yeah. Can we start dislodging the tipping point? I don't know. I'm not sure yeah, with that. I think you will. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> They're having a little think about it. Good heavens. A little bit of twerking on the tipping point. <laughs> Go. They're <laughs> going to stay, I think, Paul. They need a bit more encouragement. Yes, I will stick with two, please. Let's hit two you. again. It's not going to take much, isn't it? The merest nudge. Nice. Now, maybe if it gets a... Top shelf gonna go. Side to the left. Is the top shelf gonna go? The top shelf's not gonna go. Mm. Oh, Paul. Mm. You've got oh, one yeah. more to go in, Paul. I'm gonna go with two again, please. Gotta go for it. Far up two. As long as we get a nice drop. Yes. Now, it's good. You would think it has to go. Very good. There's a couple there. The mission's gonna come forward. Just a little, shelf a little nudge. Yes. Yes. Very good. Oh, well ooh. done. Wow. Six counts you finish with, Paul. £300 for those six. Not too bad. Let's take no. that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £1,050. Well done. Right, Russ Ann, we come to you. It's up to you now because you are just £50 ahead of Louise. You get to choose. Would you like to play next or would you like Louise to play? I'd like to play next, please. OK, 45 seconds for Russ Ann, please. Your time starts now. A bourbon biscuit is flavoured with which cocoa based confection? Chocolate. Correct. Natural selection and laws of variation are both chapters in Charles Darwin's 1859 book on the origin of what? Of, um, mankind? Species. Which Labour Prime Minister was defeated by Margaret Thatcher in the 1979 general election? Uh, Wilson. James Callaghan. Released in 1993, In Utero is the third and final studio album by which American rock band? Pass. Nirvana. According to European folklore, vampires are often associated with which flying mammal? That's correct. In which UK capital city are there areas called Leckwith, Atlantic Wharf and Tremorfa? Pass. Cardiff. Featuring on the series Celebs Go Dating, Sophie Herman is best known for appearing in which London-based reality show? Uh, oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> Made in Chelsea? Made okay. in Chelsea. Rasan, two correct answers. You've got two counters, so that's your challenge. 
to get as much as you can, because Louise isn't far behind you. You want to put as much pressure yeah. on her as possible. Absolutely. Maybe, if you can get enough out, you could catch Paul, because he's not that far ahead. Where do you want to start? Drop zone two, please. Let's have drop zone two. OK, got to make it count. Yeah. At least it's a bit late, but that could work on the top shelf. Oh, it's riding. Is it? Oh. He might get enough of a squeeze. Well, there's a couple there. That yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very close, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Is that going to move the double forward, which could be interesting? Two sneak in for you, Rastan. So let's give you £100 for those two. Top shelf looks pretty good there still, doesn't it? You're up to £100. One more to go in. What are you thinking now? Yeah, I'm definitely going to stay with uh, drop zone two, please. Let's have two again. I'm going to take my time with this. <laughs> yeah, get the timing right. Can't afford to waste it. Nice. Oh, it keeps standing. Again. <laughs> Is that, that might slide under your rider as well. Oh, it's riding as well. Rasa, no. Uh... Can we get enough of a squeeze on that silver counter? No, oh, barely oh, anything, unfortunately. Oh. So it's just the £100. Only got two correct answers, sadly. That's not going to be very much when we put it into your bank. It's going to put you on £500. Okay. Right then, Louise, we come to you. 45 seconds for Louise, please. Your time starts now. An overhead press is a weight training exercise used to strengthen the muscles in which upper limbs of the body? Arms. Correct. Perfect 10 and Don't Marry Her were UK top 10 singles for the band The Beautiful What? South. Correct. The gruesome twosome drive the creepy coop in which Hanna-Barbera cartoon series? Us. Wacky Races. Shortly after receiving spinal surgery, which Mexican artist painted the broken column in 1944? Pass. Frida Kahlo. Model and actor Patrick Schwarzenegger is the son of Maria Shriver and which Austrian-born actor? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Correct. Phobos and Deimos are both moons that revolve around which red planet in our solar system? Mars. Correct. In 1987, the footballer John Barnes joined Liverpool from which other English club? Liverpool. Watford. The Pigeon Tunnel is a volume of memoir by which British author renowned for his spine novels? Did you know? I wouldn't have known that. John le Carré. Four correct answers, Louise. Four counters. So, your first challenge is to try and catch Rossan. He's three counters ahead of you, just £150. OK. So where are you going to get those, Louise? What's looking good? I think I'm going to continue with drop zone two. Let's see what we can do. Fire up drop zone two, please. There you go, that's the right-hand side, isn't it? Yeah. Very good. Silver to do counter's going to come through. Maybe. The mystery could get close mystery, as well. Yeah. yeah, the bound to go. Yeah, three. Oh, oh. And oh, another nice. two. Sadly, Rassan, that means we're going to lose you at the end of the round. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Five counter, Louise. Nice start, £250. Uh, I'm going to go with drop zone two again, please. Please. Let's hit two again. A bit more central on the top would be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? There's a nice little there. And there's a mystery there. at the bottom as yes. well. That'd be nice. Bouncy drop. Might rise. You steer clear of that counter on the right. Oh, it's flat. It's You're flat. OK. That could move the silver ones in the middle down with a bit of lateral here. And the one next to the mystery at the bottom. There you go. Oh. Oh. Is the mystery going to go? It's oh. going to get close. Oh, Ooh, two yeah, sneak in fine. for you there. Very good. Let's give you £100 for those two. You're up to £350 in the machine. Time for change. You're going to stay in two. What are you thinking? I'm going to stick with drop zone two, please, Ben. Let's stay with two. Rapid. Yeah, it Should was. Can we take that little stash the there down? Yes. Yeah. Can we get that? Yep. Ooh. One sneaks oh, in yeah. for you, Louise. Okay. Creeping closer. That's up to £400 in the machine. And then I think I'm going to finish with drop zone two. Stay with two. I think so, Stick yeah. Stick with what you know. Yeah. Drop zone two, please. Really slow drop, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Is that going to ride? It's going to ride, isn't I think it? it might. Yeah, yeah, it does. It might. I know that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Heartbreak with the rider for Rasan. Give it a minute. No, nothing more to add. So you stay with 400 pounds. 
It's enough to put you through, though, Louise. Let's put it into your bank. That means at the end of the round, Paul is leading with £1,050. Louise goes through with £750. Ross, and I'm so sorry. That means with £500, you've been great, but we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. That's all right. Thanks for having me here, Ben. Lovely to meet you. So it's Paul and Louise will be going head to head after the break. They'd like to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, for your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £17,000, go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 6339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP224, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Paul and Louise. Very well done to both of you. you. Thank you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. Give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. Give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our jackpot. As you're leading, Paul, you get to choose. Would you like to take the first question? Would you like to offer it? I'll to take you? the first question, please. Okay, man. here we go. First one for you. In 2021, which US singer collaborated with Oreo to release a line of cookies inspired by her album, Chromatica? Now, you can pass this to Louise if you're not sure. I've nothing to go on, so I would like to pass. Right, Louise, we're looking for a US singer who collaborated with Oreo to release a line of cookies inspired by her album, Chromatica, so a female US singer. I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande? As a guess. OK, you're not sure. Paul, did you have anyone in mind? <laughs> I have not. No, I could have been Lady Gaga. Maybe Lady Gaga. But I, she's no an clues. American no. singer. Yeah, Louise. She's American. Let's yeah. see if you've stolen this. We need this, Louise. I don't think so. Is it Ariana Grande? Do you know what? It was Lady Gaga. No. no. Yes, it was. You see. And I've got all their albums. It's not just, <laughs> I... You've got Chromatica, have you? Uh, hard luck, Louise. I it wasn't Ariana Grande. No, Paul, problem. good pass in the end. Louise Thank was wrong. You. you get the counter. Where should we go? I think there's a couple could drop on two, but I'm going to go for three. Fire up drop zone three, please. Of course, that was a quick... Still good. Let's see Don't what we can what disrupt knocked. here. Just one or two over. Yeah. Flip, flip. flap, flap. There you go. Two no. okay. sneak in for you. Yeah. £100 for you there, Paul. Just extend your lead slightly. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. I'm going to put you on £1,150. Okay. Louise, we come to you. Time for your first question. The artist Dominikos Theotokopoulos is better known by what Spanish name that means the Greek? Now, you can pass if you're not sure. Because I don't know the answer, I'm going to take the risk and pass. You're going to pass it over. Paul. Paul, does it ring any bells for you? It doesn't. Dominikos Theotokopoulos. Better known by what Spanish name that means the Greek? I'll say Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali, you've got to give me something. Yeah. Louise, Spanish that means the Greek. I don't speak any Spanish. No, you than... can't think of anything. Um, Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> Probably sounds <laughs> better than Definitely Salvador not Dali. The <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you're right, Paul. <laughs> Is the answer Salvador Dali? No, the Greek, El Greco. Oh. El Greco. I'm not sure if you knew it was an artist, but I'm sure you've heard of I, El I did Greco. know it was an artist, but I would... Yeah, yeah hard luck, Paul. Yeah. Louise, good pass from you now, because Paul was wrong. You oh. get to put a counter to the machine. We need some money out. We do. What's um, looking good? I think I'm going to stick with drop zone three. There is a double there, so hopefully I can edge that forward. OK. Fire up three. Nice, quick drop. Yeah. Good settle there for yeah. Louise. Yeah, should be something coming down. Fingers crossed. So that counter separates as well, which is good. A good drive here. Oh, oh Louise. Nice. Louise needed eight to catch Paul, and that's nine across the tipping point. Well what done. a time to drop nine nice. counters. £450. Let's take it and put it into your bank, and that edges you into the lead. You now have £1,200. So, Paul, you're playing catch-up now. Just £50 shy of Louise. Time for your second question. The Austrian Franz Klammer is an Olympic champion in which winter sport? I think I remember this guy because there was one guy I always used to wear a, a bob hat 
when he was skiing. Right. So if it's the right one, um, it's skiing. Going with skiing. Yeah. Okay, Louise, have you ever heard of Franz Klammer? I have, and I would have said skiing. You would have gone skiing myself. as well. Let's see if Paul is right. Is the answer skiing? Yeah. Well he done. won gold in Innsbruck in hmm. 1976, Paul. Where would you like to play the counter now that you're chasing Louise? I'm going to go for two, please. Back to two. Let's yeah. do it. Fire up, drop zone two, please. There's only £50 in it, so yeah. one or two here or there makes a big difference. That black counter perch on the top shelf. Yeah, that could be nice. Nice. That Might could not move the mystery. The black one. There you go. Can you get that mystery out? Yeah, you can. That's two counts, which will sneak you back in the lead. £100 for you there. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It puts you on £1,250. You've got your hands on another mystery prize as excellent. well, Paul. You've won an overnight hotel stay for two, courtesy of De Vere. Oh, excellent. Very nice. nice. Yes, very nice. Taking the lead as well. Right, Louise, you are now chasing. That's me. Time for your second question. The bluish green substance known as verdigris commonly forms when which metallic element or its alloys react with moisture? I don't know the answer. There's many metallic elements that I've got in my head, so I'm going to take, again, another risk and pass in the hope that Paul doesn't know this. Let's see if Paul does know. Metallic elements or its alloys that react with moisture and create that bluish-green substance verdigris. Paul, I any just, other thoughts? I chatted with my wife and said, as long as something doesn't come up, the Ricard's elements. <laughs> ah, OK. <laughs> then I might be OK. So you um, didn't, having said that to your wife, you didn't go and swat up and learn a few elements or anything like I, that? I did a couple of hours. No, I didn't do anything. No, so. OK. No, no. Um, I'll say iron. You're going with the iron? Yeah. Louise? I may have said silver. You might have said silver? OK. A little I bit of rain, a little ring, bit of water on know. your silver. Does that go green? <laughs> the cheap stuff, no, I <laughs> 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 you wouldn't know that stuff. No, would I wouldn't. No, 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 no. Right, Paul, let's see if you're right. If it's iron, you steal the counter. Is the answer iron? <laughs> it's copper. Copper goes green, oh, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Of course. I mean, it if you does, think about yeah. the Statue of Liberty, there's a great example of verdigris. It's gone green, yeah. bluish green, because of its action with moisture. If it's iron, it would be rust. Yeah. yeah I, I didn't for a minute think it was, but I no, can't think of it. That would be sort of make sense. Right, Louise, well fortunately done. for you, Paul okay. didn't do any revision onto <laughs> no. his elements. So you get Thank the counter. You. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we go? I'm going to try and hope that it lands on the left hand side and go drop zone three again, please, Ben. Drop zone three. Fire it up, please. <laughs> Got to be on the left. Top shelf looks good, but there's yeah. a few gaps on the bottom. There it is. Nearly left. Maybe. Is that going to be enough? I might split them. Yeah, I think it will. Oh, oh, oh very right. close, but it does just. It's your way Ooh, that wobbling. wobbling. They are really very close. It's a fraction more of a nudge, and that would have been down, Louise. Yeah. Right. Just keep an eye on it. Mm. OK, so nothing sadly, Louise, from that drop. Right, Paul, yeah. back to you. Time for your third and final question. <laughs> Located at the southern end of the Mariana Trench and over 10 kilometres below the surface, Challenger Deep is in which ocean? I guess I've got two in mind. Do you go for it or do you pass to Louise and hope that she doesn't have anything in mind? I'm going to go for it. You're going to go I think it. I've got a reasonable guess, so... What are the two that you've got in mind, then? Atlantic and Pacific. OK. And I'm going to go for the Atlantic. Going with the Atlantic? Yeah. Louise, what would you have said? Atlantic. Just you as a, a guess. You no would have gone reason. Atlantic? Yeah. OK. Let's see if you're right, Paul. If you are, you keep the counter. If you're wrong, you give Louise another crack at this. There's only £50 in it. Is the answer the Atlantic? It's oh. not. It's the Pacific. No. Oh. It was the Pacific. 50-50. Uh, named after HMS Challenger, the 1870s ship that first recorded how deep it is. Louise, what a gift of a counter there. Thank you, indeed. So you get to put it into the machine now. We need £50 to catch him. I'm going to continue with what I tried previously and go drop zone three, please. Let's hit three. <laughs> we need it on the left. Tipping point's a bit sparse. We need something good here. Oh, it's not far away. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, oh, I could have no. done with that going flat. Louise, oh, no. no. Is that silver counter going to get it? Oh, it's OK. Flat, yep, she should go. Are we going to get the tipping point to work, though? Maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. This was the right choice. I wanted it further left, didn't I? Oh, oh no! Right on the edge. Oh, Louise, hard luck. So, fortunately, Paul, no damage done. Mm. You do still have the lead, but, Louise, you keep control. Time for your third and final question. You'll float two 
is a tagline for which 2017 horror film? You can pass if you're not sure. Of all film categories, horror is probably my least favourite. What about Paul's? I'm not sure. I reckon you might like a Western. <laughs> 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 I hope you might like horror, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to pass because I don't know the answer. <laughs> Paul, are you into your horror? No. Are you into your Westerns? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't even say any horror films come to mind. Of that, older ones, maybe. We'll say Scream 3. Scream 3? You've got to give me something. Let's see if Paul's right. If you are, you're <laughs> our winner, Paul. And you're getting to play for the jackpot. If you're wrong, Louis's no. got one last count to put into the machine with only £50 in it. Is the answer Scream 3? <laughs> it wasn't. It was It. It, oh. which is Stephen King book. Of course. Clown, yes, Pennywise yes. is the clown. I would never have put the two together. Good try, Paul. I think Scream, the Scream films were around at the turn of the century, weren't they? Were they? Sort of uh, late uh, 90s, guess, early 2000s. Uh, it was them. a horror. You did get a horror. <laughs> uh, Louise, here's your challenge. Okay. We don't want any horrors here. We want a good drop. <laughs> you only need one counter to catch Paul. What are you thinking looking at the machine? Drop zone three, please, Ben. All right, a let's see choice. what happens. Fingers crossed. Drop zone three, please. Mirror's nudge. There's a couple of gaps, though. Yeah. Get one out. Mm. Anything coming over the top? I think it'll still go. I'm not, I'm not sure. Side. Something into two. Would that do it? Maybe. Is that going to do it? From drop zone two from nowhere, yeah. it is! No. Goodness me! Not where I thought it would have No, yeah. not where you think at all. That will be enough, though. Three counts across the tipping point. It's £150. Let's take that and put it in your bank. And that means with the very last drop in round three, Louise, with £1,350. Very well played. You are today's winner. Congratulations Thanks to you. Much. Paul, I'm so sorry. You've been brilliant and you've battled really hard. It came so close down to that last drop. But with £1,250, we have found a tipping point. Of course, you have won your juicing machine and your hotel stay as Thank well. Thank you. Paul. It was very good. Thank you so much for playing. Paul. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Really, it's been really, really, really lovely to meet you. So, Louise, what a comeback. What I a win. <laughs> Goodness me. Right, our thoughts turn to this now. Yep. This jackpot counter. And this one is bigger and better than all the others. Because you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Amazing. Can Louise Master Machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, for your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £17,000, go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 613030. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP224, PO Box 75588, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tim Point. Louise is today's winner and has managed to get £1,350. The very last I drop, know. Louise. And not from drop zone three, from drop zone two. I know, I was not expecting that at all. I was kind of losing the whole way, wasn't I? You so managed to turn it around. It's the great thing back. about this game. It's a real leveller, the machine, and here you are. Thank in the you. final round, about yeah. to take on the machine for our jackpot. I know. Have you thought about what you might like to do with the money if we get it out? I'd absolutely love a big holiday. I've always wanted to go to New York. Fab. And then I definitely need to do it at my garden. It's just a bit of a blank canvas at the moment. OK, so a little bit of refurb of the garden, but mostly a lovely trip abroad. Absolutely, yeah. And to go to New and York, do the really lot. special. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Best of luck, Louise. Thank you very much. Time to find out whether Louise is going to win our jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get out again. Fancy getting home with £20,000. It'll be so nice. To drop with one of those double counters that's still there in the machine. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question is going to be. The more you win, the better your chances. It's as simple as that. Thank you. So, what are your thoughts, Louise, when it comes to the jackpot counter? If I was sitting watching at home, mm -hmm. I'd always go zone one or four. Yep. I'm going to go drop zone one. Let's do it. All right, drop zone one, please. So, okay. take your time with this one. Yeah. You need to get this one in. Timed nicely and nice and flat. Let's see what we're facing. Nice oh, yeah. and settled over on the edge. Which is dream, why you that is. Drop someone, <laughs> it is. It's a good start. Doubles on the edge, you never know as well. A bit of lateral could slowly move that forward. We'll take those nice. four to get us going, though. £200. So up to £1,550, but your jackpot counter nice and flat on the edge of drop someone. Let's have a look at your categories. This is what okay. we've got for you. Music, food and drink, human body, 
history, geography and video games. You can claim in any order you like, so where do you want to start and how many? I think I'm going to start from top to bottom and go music for two counters. Right, yeah. start with music for two, please. The original lineup of which group had the most members? Bee Gees, ABBA or the Police? So ABBA, definitely four. <sighs> Bee Gees, I don't know why, but I feel there might be three guys. I can see beards. See beards. I can see beards. Lots of yeah. hair. Lots, Lots of, of hair, hair, yeah. And the police, all I can think about is I think Sting. I just remember playing a lot of, like dad playing a lot of their music in the car when we were younger. Right. How big the band is though, I have no idea. Okay. I'm going to rule out number two. Three Brothers rings a bell for Bee Gees. I'm going to go with the police. It makes me think it might be a larger band. There might be some instruments involved. So I'm going to go police, please. Police? Police. Yeah. I'm going to go with the police, please. So oh. somebody's telling you the Bee Gees was three. You know ABBA has four. You're hoping that the police will be more yeah. than four. I might get in trouble with my dad now. Was it the police? Oh, is it three. Oh, is it? Bee Gees, three brothers. The police was three. ABBA that's got four. Ah. Oh. Right, OK. Oh, Louise. Done. OK, we're heading down the list. Food and drink. Uh, food and drink, I'm going to go three counters, please. Let's have food and drink for three. Produced using cloudberries, lacquer liqueur is from which northern European country? Spain, Ireland or Finland? I don't think it's Spain. It's just nothing that I've heard of to do with Spain. I think kind of sangria. I, I don't think I've heard of lacquer. And yep. I feel like that might have been in that main drink. I don't know why. I don't believe it's Ireland, so I'm going to go Finland, please, Ben. So you think it might be Finnish? I don't know, but that's my guess. <laughs> OK, we're going to go with Finland. Is the answer Finland? Hey. Yes! Apparently a cloudberry tastes like a raspberry crossed with a red currant. Ooh. I quite like the idea of that, the sweet with the sour. Yeah, yeah, very Let's true. get some lacquer liqueur. Let's get going. <laughs> Three counters. Yeah. Drop some one. Brilliant. Yes, please, Ben. Fire it up, please. Bounces. Low, yeah. Is Could get towards the double, double, though. Yeah. If it goes, it looks pretty lonely, doesn't it? We want it, it to does, go with a, yeah. with a few other counters, ideally. I wonder if we can get something into two. There, yeah, could work. Oh, that's going to be better. Yeah. If they all go together. Right. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Better Three counters nothing. go in, 150 pounds. That takes us up to 1,700. We can double up that 150, though, because the double's dropped in. Brilliant. So another 150 goes in, up to 1,850 pounds. Two more to go in. Drop some one again. Yes, please. Fire it up, please. Thank you. Okay. Hopefully, that comes on the left. Mm. Oh, I like okay. that right hand side, annoyingly. Squeeze that counter over. Maybe get one or two here. There's not a lot of cash there on the left. No, I okay, can mm. just fill the gap. Okay. One more. Drop some one again. Yes, please. Light it up. Thank you. Come on now, let's get one right behind the jackpot counter. Fingers crossed. OK. Oh, yes. Nice. That's more like That's it. That's a good one. Right on it. Right on it. Ooh, Three nice. over the top. And a nice drop on the bottom. Six more for you. So £300 goes in. The money goes up very nicely. We're up to 2150 The jack counts on the edge of the top shelf. Okay. Great stuff. Right, back to the categories. Human oh body's God. next. Um, biology was never my strongest point at school. Okay. Uh, it wasn't my weakest, though. Right. Um, so I'm going to try... I'll try three counters, please, for human body. Human body for three. The Circle of Willis is a ring of several important arteries located at the base of which organ in the human body? Brain, lungs, or heart? Right. The only thing that's making me think, I'm thinking heart, blood goes in a circular wave as through your pumped, body, yeah. potentially. I'm going to go with heart as a guess, just the way that potentially blood is pumped around the body. OK, we're going to go with heart, please. Fingers crossed. The circle of Willis. Is it at the base of the heart? Ah. It's the brain. Oh, it's a very important artery, though. Named after the physician Thomas Willis, who described it in 1664. Oh, Thomas Willis, Thomas of course. Willis. <laughs> right, let's go back to the categories. OK, we're halfway. History's next. I'm going to be honest with myself and go history for two, please. OK, history for two. 
Which of the following military battles happened first? Battle of Britain, Battle of Waterloo, or the Battle of Hastings? 1866, I believe, is Hastings. I think. Or 1066. Is it 1866 or 1066? 1066 sounds very early. Goodness, everything has left my brain. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, what about the other two? Battle of Waterloo, Battle of Britain? Um, I don't know the, either of them, I'll be honest. Um, Waterloo, feeling like it might be later. I don't feel that was first. Hastings just sounds like a bit of an older word. Um, I'm going to go with Battle of Hastings. Happened first. Battle of Hastings. So we're going with the Battle of Hastings? Yes. Should we light it up? Yes. We're going with the Battle of Hastings. Thank you. Let's see <laughs> if you're right. <laughs> was it the Battle of Hastings? Yes. I mean, how I got that right is beyond me. Well, no, 1066. It we studied it at the school. Of course we did. Yes. William the Conqueror. Howard gets an arrow in the eye. The Battle of Waterloo <laughs> was 1815, okay. and the Battle of Britain was 1940, of course, Second World War. Excellent. OK. Do you know what? It doesn't matter, because you found the right no. answer. <laughs> Two counters. Drop zone one. Yes, please. Fire up one, please. <laughs> Down the left-hand side. Come on, please. Oh, that might ride. Gone flat. Ah. I think that was just a slow drop. That wasn't bad on the release. It was wasn't too late. Mm. Okay. Next. One okay. more to go in. Uh, drop same one, please. One again, please. Oh, come on, on the left hand side, G. Ah, rubbish. Not there. No. Silver one gonna go. Just gonna fill that gap. Fill the gap, yeah. Just mm. slotting into the pocket. Okay. Yes. Let's go back to the categories. Okay. Two left. Oh. Geography and video games. I'm gonna try geography for three, please. Let's do it. Geography for three. Which of the following UK forests is located furthest north? New Forest, Sherwood Forest, or the Forest of Dean? Okay. So the Forest of Dean is relatively close to me. And Which I'm is Worcester. Worcester. Yeah, relatively close. So, so we're saying that's sort of, a no. That's a no. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Well, I think that's quite southern in terms of forests in the UK. Sherwood Forest is Nottingham, I believe. Right. I don't know where New Forest is. I'm going to take a guess that it's further north. Further north. Yes. Um, so I'm going to go for New Forest, please. The okay. furthest north. I'm going to light up New Forest. Could be wrong. So we think we kind of know where Sherwood and the Forest of Dean are, but the New Forest, is it the furthest north? Ah, have I got Sherwood the Forest is the furthest north. Is it? The New Forest is down in Hampshire. Ah, OK. It's the furthest south of all three. Right, OK. It's all right, though, because video games, and I'm pretty sure you're going to oh, be yeah. a big gamer. Absolutely. Yeah, always. <laughs> I'm really torn here. I'm not a gamer, but going to go with video games for three, please. Then. Video games for Take three. The risk. Released in 2020, the video game subtitled Shadowlands is part of which popular franchise? World of Warcraft, Grand Theft Auto, or Halo? I used to play Grand Theft Auto with my brother. Right. Um, I haven't seen anything come out recently that that would suggest there's a new release. OK. Shadowlands suggests that it may be to do with land. And Halo, I think Halo is a bit... Um, Futuristic, from right, what I okay. can recall. A bit more sci-fi. Yeah, sci-fi. Um, I'm going to take a guess at World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft? Yes, please. We're going with World of Warcraft, please. If you're right, we've got three last counters here, Louise. Yeah. Is the answer World of Warcraft? Yes. Well done. There you go. Set in the after Doesn't matter, you got it. Three counters. Thank you very much. So, try and get that jackpot counter down. I'd absolutely love to, so I'm going to try it. Drop zone one, please. One then. up, please. Oh, might take something in two. Any nudge? Come on. <laughs> okay, nothing there. Not moving. Two more to put in, Louise. Okay. What do you think? Drops in one, please. One again. Yeah. Oh, that is wow, not happening. Oh, we've so. <laughs> not playing today. No, hopefully mm. we can get a little bit of money. Maybe. Yeah, three nice. counts drop in. £150 for you there. Takes us up to £2,300.
You've got one more to put in, Louise. What are you thinking now? I'm not going to get the jackpot counter out. If I was at home, I would not be thinking to do this, but I'm going to go with Johnson and 3, please. OK, Johnson and 3, my please. Last counter. We're going to take the risk. Yeah, See if we can get know. that double down. It's been yeah. there for a long time. It you put has. it there in round three, didn't you, with Paul? Let's try and get that out. Yes, towards the right of centre. OK, can Basically we get that black there. counter in the... Well, you say that, that black counter through the middle. Maybe. Nice broad shove, could do it. They're so close to going. There you go. And oh, a nice. few more as well. Lovely. Five more across the tipping point. We can give you £250. But we can double up that £250, cos you managed to get the double with that last drop. So it means, as things stand, you've got £2,800, Louise. Now, usually at this stage, I would offer you a yeah. trade. Three final counters to put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out, given that it's still on the top shelf and we've already turned our back on it. I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to say. I need uh, to yeah. ask you, nonetheless, would you like to take the money or the trade? I will take the money, please, Ben. Very wise. £2,800 a lovely amount of money, Louise. Thank well you. done. You've played a great game. Have you enjoyed it? I've had a lovely day. <laughs> yeah. It's been brilliant. It's been really fun. Thank I've you really very much. I've really enjoyed playing alongside you. Well done. Thank you very much, Ben. There you go. So Louise is leaving with £2,800. Jackpot counter still on the top shelf and it's staying with us for today. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tip Point. Goodbye.